Hello friends, welcome back to the channel and today we will learn how to detect visibility of an element on the viewport. What it means like for this viewport, this white screen, if I have an element, right, this uh, blue box. So now I want to know when this element is on the screen and visible to the user and when it is intersecting with the viewport and partially visible to user and like when it is completely off of the screen and user cannot view that element. So all this detection we can do using this intersection observer API. Okay. And this, this is basically a browser API. So it means it will be one working on the browser thread, not on the main thread of the JS engine. Okay. So let's jump into the code. So first of all, I need a box. Okay. So let's create it. So I've already created it here. You can see this blue box. Okay. So what next? So now we have to uh, get that element using document dot get element by ID, right? And save it in a one variable. So we'll do that. Okay. So now we have uh, this element in my one variable named target. Okay. So what's next? So next thing we will be creating an observer using this intersection observer class passing some parameters to it okay let's do it okay so basically here we pass two parameters one is a callback and another one is options that's it so now if you see these two parameters i have to define so let's define them so first one will be the options options are basically configuration of this observer and there we can configure these three values one is root root margin and threshold so first of all this root root defines the viewport for this element so if i here i am passing null or if i am not passing this root at all so by default viewport will be my document okay and if i want an it's uh, if I want an parent element of this box to be its viewport, so I can uh, pass that element here, same way like we did for the box targeting it. The next one is the root margin. So, root margin it basically uh, applies to the root element. So, now if document is the root element, if I want to define some margins so that it starts listening to this uh, intersection early like so i can define that uh, margin here so 0px defines that there is no margin and third one and the most important one is the threshold so basically in threshold we define at what percentage of uh, this intersection will this uh, callback will be fired okay we'll be passing callback now jump to it so this is a simple callback so here we define it like uh, this uh, function and we receive entries and then we loop through the entries and we just uh, we can use any property of the entry so one of the property is intersection ratio so this ratio basically tells how much percentage of this element is intersecting with the viewport okay so let's start coding it so we'll define some options and the main one is the threshold in threshold basically we can pass 0 to 1 values where 0 defines 0 percentage of intersection means element is not visible on the screen or we can define 1 so 1 defines like a, if element is visible on the screen okay so let's keep it 1 and now we have to define a callback so in callback we receive entries okay so as i have already told so this when this callback will be fired so this callback will be fired when this threshold meets right so based on this threshold the callback will be fired okay so here we can write our code so entries will be receiving as an array so basically we have to loop through it and now we will get entry one element one intersection you can say okay so this entry is an intersection object where we get to know about the target element okay the intersection ratio how much intersection has been done or we can also know about the time and some more properties are there okay 
So we'll check the intersection ratio for now. We have defined our observer. So now we have to start listening to it. So for that, we have to write observer. Observer is the uh, variable where we have created intersection observer. And then we will be getting this method observe and we have to pass the target element, which we already have uh, taken here. Okay. So we'll now open the console. Okay. I have to create some scrollable area. So for that. Okay. So when it becomes visible on the screen, that callback gets fired. It's not giving me zero, just the one. Okay. So let's say I have to uh, trigger this callback on every 10% change of the uh, this intersection ratio so for that i'll be defining like starting from zero point one zero percent to hundred percent so this we have to write see zero coming back one okay so now we can utilize this thing uh, intersection ratio and do some property changes over this element so here i'm what i want to try is like uh, get the target element and set this opacity to the intersection ratio okay let's see now so now you can see the opacity of uh, this element is becoming zero by the time it goes out of the screen see and same way when it will be coming back to the viewport it will uh, like uh, partially it will get converted into the opacity one okay this was the uh, tutorial about this intersection observer API. Let's see how it runs on the browser itself. So our observer is running in the browser thread, but the callback it fires goes to the JS engine callback. Okay. So you have to take care about this. So let's see its use cases. First one, like uh, we can use this uh, API for like lazy loading of images, like uh, uh, if uh, loading other content, like if pages is scrolled and second one like uh, implementing infinite scrolling of websites so basically to load more content as user scroll to bottom right next we can also use this api to decide like showing or non uh, making it off of the animation on elements so basically based on the visibility of that element to a user next we what we can also achieve is like auto pause of a video when it is out of view so when it is in view we can play it and when it is out of view we can also pause it and this thing also we can do like uh, we can detect how much content is viewed so basically based on that percentage we can trigger some functionality this was the tutorial friends uh, hope you learned something out of it so goodbye for now i uh, will meet in our next tutorial Thank you. Bye-bye.